it is looking like a very ugly day for investors and for your 401k. The opening bell just moments away. Dow futures down more than 800 points. Let's listen. In. Fear and panic have taken hold. Investors watch the markets melt down across the globe last night, and they're reacting to it. The focal point, of course, the one that everyone's talking about is China. Now we're down 6%, more than 1,000 points here. Incredibly rare, incredibly rare to see a move uh, that brisk. Look, we've already come back a bit. Oh, um, we've, we've come back quite a bit. We were down 1,000. Yes, Think about markets have gone up for six years. You see a 1,000 point move almost in the morning, and it's still only a 10 month low. That just shows you how quickly and aggressively markets have been going up. What you've clearly got is a market that is now has found a, a, a moderate level of equilibrium. This morning, that was all red, and each of these stocks was down four, five, six, seven percent. Now, some of them are turning green, which means that buyers have returned. What I would encourage people to evaluate is the ongoing strength and resilience of the U.S. economy. This is CNN Breaking News. We are seeing the Dow drop a little more as each passing minute goes by. This really wasn't expected. I mean, yes, the sell-off was expected, but not something like this. And then, of course, we went through these roller coaster moves, and everybody sort of knows here on the floor that we haven't seen the end of it yet. There's still more to fall, at least according to some of these traders. Let's see in a perspective, though. We're down about three and a half, three point five, eight points a day. It was down about that much right. on Friday. Black Monday back in 1987, that was what, 22 percent right. in one day. So the people here old enough to remember that know as bad as it is right now right. could be a heck of a lot worse.